In this tutorial, we will show you how to create a hole in a cube while demonstrating some of the features of FreeCAD's Part Workbench. To get started, we want to click on File right here and click on New. Now we want to change to the Part Workbench by clicking here and here. Next, we want to create a cube by clicking here. Now double click the cube right here in the combo view to see its parameters. And this will show us that it's 10 by 10 by 10 millimeters. Click OK. Now let's create a cylinder by clicking this icon. Double click the cylinder in the combo view. And we're going to change its height right here to 12 millimeters. Next, we're going to change the rotation axis down here to 1 for X. Y will remain 0. Z, we will change that to 0. And then the angle, we will change to 90 degrees. Now click here on this icon, the right view, to get an idea of the position of the two objects we've just created. And I suggest you click the other views to kind of get an overall view of what's going on. Back to the perspective view. Now click on view right here and standard views and fit all. Now we will position the cylinder so that it goes through the center of the cube. To do that, double click on cylinder again to get back to the parameter view and come down and set the Z position to 5. Right here. Set the X position to 5. And set the Y position to 11. And now let's hold down the shift key and the right mouse button to manipulate the model so that we can see exactly what's going on. Go back now to parametric view and click on view, standard views, fit selection. Now click OK so that we can see both objects in the combo view. Click on cube and shift click on cylinder. Now let's come over to this icon right here which is make a cut of two shapes. And kaboom, we now have a hole in our cube. Again, hold down the shift key and the right mouse button to move it around and get an idea of how it looks. You can use the center mouse wheel to zoom out. And again, shift and the right mouse button to be able to move the object around to verify what we have. Now let's click on View, Standard View, Fit All. Now this should give you a brief idea of how to use the Part Workbench and the built-in primitive shapes to create your model. Be sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.